Welcome and thank you for joining us for Vespers with the Psalms. As we begin our time together, let's turn our attention to our breathing. First, find yourself in a posture of rest and stillness. Once you are settled, maybe in your favorite chair in the family room, a well-worn bench on the back porch in your garden, or even lying in your bed, come to a place of rest. As you settle, be aware of your breathing. Your breath has been your unmanaged source of life all day. Without it, you wouldn't even make it a matter of seconds. And yet it keeps going on, sustaining you constantly. So take a moment to acknowledge your breath and bring it under your control. Take a big breath in and hold it for just a moment. and slowly let it out. Let's try that again. Deep breath in and hold it. And slowly release. As you breathe in again and hold it, think of how important your breath is for every moment of your life. And as you slowly release, be thankful for the gift of breath God gave you today and be mindful of the breath it will take to navigate the night as you sleep. As you continue to slow and control your breathing, focus on the words and music of this beautiful hymn of praise. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and With those words in our ears, on our lips, in our minds, and on our hearts, let's read this invocation together. Please respond by reading aloud the words of the response. Though evening has come, our praises carry on through the night. As the sunlight departs, open the eyes of our heart that see without light. Fine-tune our praises as darkness falls. 
that your name will be on our lips even as we rest. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Each week we'll have a theme song that highlights our psalm category for the week. This week, our theme is Psalms of Praise, and our hymn of the week is Revive Us Again, or is also known as We Praise Thee, O God. Our scripture reading for tonight's Vespers is Psalm 105. As you continue to be at rest, listen and reflect on God's word. Psalm 105. Give praise to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. You, his servants, the descendants of Abraham, his chosen ones, the children of Jacob. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the promise he made to a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, and his oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, to you 
I will give the land of Canaan as the portion you will inherit. When they were but few in number, few indeed and strangers in it, they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. And he allowed no one to oppress them. For their sake, he rebuked kings. Do not touch my anointed one. Do my prophets no harm. He called down famine on the land and destroyed all their supplies of food. And he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. They bruised his feet with shackles. His neck was put in irons till what he foretold came to pass, till the word of the Lord proved him true. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him master of his household, ruler of all the land he possessed, to instruct his princes as he pleased and teach his elders wisdom. Then Israel entered Egypt. Jacob resided as a foreigner in the land of Ham. The Lord made his people very fruitful. He made them too numerous for their foes, whose hearts he turned to hate his people, to conspire against his servants. And he sent Moses, his servant, and Aaron, whom he'd chosen. They performed his signs among them, his wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made the land dark, for had they not rebelled against his words? He turned their waters into blood, causing their fish to die. Their land teemed with frogs, which went into bedrooms of the rulers. He spoke and there came swarms of flies and gnats throughout their country. He turned their rain into hail with lightning throughout their land. He struck down their vines and fig trees and shattered the trees of their country. He spoke, and the locusts came, grasshoppers without number. They ate up every green thing in their land, ate up the produce of the soil. And then he struck down all the firstborn of their land, the first fruits of their manhood. He brought out Israel, laden with silver and gold, and from among their tribes no one faltered. Egypt was glad when they left, because dread of Israel had fallen on them. He spread out a cloud as a covering, and a fire to give light at night. They asked, and he brought them quail, and he fed them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and the water gushed out. It flowed like a river in the desert. For he remembered his holy promise given to his servant Abraham. He brought out his people with rejoicing, his chosen ones with shouts of joy. He gave them the lands of their nations, and they fell heir to what others toiled for that they might keep his precepts and observe his laws. Praise the Lord. Take a moment now and reflect on this psalm of praise. Praise God through the words of the psalmist or use it as an inspiration to pour out your own psalm of praise to God. In a few moments, we'll return to hear the refrain of the psalm one more time and then speak together our benediction as we conclude. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. 
He remembers his covenant forever. The promise he made for a thousand generations. And now as we close this day with our benediction, please respond by reading aloud the words of the response. And now as you end this day with hearts and thoughts on God, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Lord, we receive your blessing, not only in the light, but also as we take our rest in the dark. Turn your face toward us and grant us peace as we rest in you. And now, as we are bold to say, our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.